internet so today I'm gonna be doing a video about kind of like a starter kit if you want to get into high-end makeup and it's really hard to know what you should buy when you're used to just using you know normal makeup but maybe you want to get a bit more into good makeup there's so much out there that you just really don't know where to start there's all these videos of all these youtubers being like oh my god this is amazing this is amazing look what I got in my peer box oh my god this 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 and it's constant new things and you're just like, I can't afford this. Like, which one should I buy? Just tell me straight out. So I'm gonna give you a kind of starter kit, guide, the things that you should try and get high end and the things that you are fine doing cheaply. My preference anyway, but I just think this is like pretty standard. I'm gonna tell you what's worth investing in and what's not. Let's start with foundation because you need a good foundation to set you up for a strong house. You know what I mean, foundation. My top two high-end foundations, the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. In saying this, I haven't tried all of them out. These two are just my favorites. Kat Von D, amazing coverage. It's a new one that I've recently got. Really like it, lasts forever. It's just a good foundation. Only thing is, I think you can only get it from Sephora or online. So if you don't have a Sephora near you or if that's not an easy accessible thing, then you're kind of buggered. Estee Lauder Double Wear. Absolute classic, such good coverage, is breathable, lasts all day, looks really nice on the face, gives quite a nice like glow and coverage, and is pretty much everywhere, like Maya, um, David Jones. I just think it's more accessible. So if you wanna try out one of them, they're both about $50. I think this is 52 and this is 50. I just thought that was a pretty good deal, really. Double wear lasts me forever. I bought one. I think in oh, February and it's only kind of just run out so I think that's pretty decent. What I will say is go into Mecca or go into Sephora or go into whatever your makeup store is called, drug stores, whatever, and get a few testers. They, they usually do little pots so you can take a few testers, try out a few different foundations that you've heard are good and then make the decision on what suits your skin best because that's the thing. Everyone has different skins, everyone has different looks they want to go for. Just take advantage of all the samples because they really do give out free samples all the time. Also, make sure that they test your skin color. I'm not talking to put a bit on your hand and test your hand. They fully take off a patch of your makeup and will use their foundation to test what color you are. Otherwise, you're gonna have spent 50 to $70 on something that you're not even gonna use because it's not your skin tone. Bronzer, contour, and highlight. I've said this in millions of videos, but my absolute holy grail bronzer is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It is, I think, 20 bucks? Probably not even that. I think it was cheaper than 20 bucks. I got my original one in England and it was about 9.99 there. I've had my other one since December last year and it's nowhere near finished and I use it every day. So it's just last you forever, such a nice bronzer. Like it's a bit matte, it goes on really well, it's light, it doesn't give you that smeary, gray, muddy look that some bronzers do. It's just amazing, I would recommend. There's lots of contour kits out there that you're just like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I get? And then you have to decide whether you wanna go powder contour or cream contour, obviously depending on what foundations you like. If you use a liquid, if you use a powder, if you use both, what do you do? Depends how thick you want your makeup. It, it just depends on a lot of things. So you gotta kind of work out if you'd prefer to do powder contour or cream contour. I personally don't use the kits because there's always colors in there that I'm like never gonna use. Whereas I know I like my hula. And highlight wise, my favorite for ages was this, the Balm Mary Lou Manonizer highlight, which I've had in a few videos. And it's just beautiful. Again, last ages, not too cakey. And then recently, I think I've mentioned, I've got this Afterglow Urban Decay Highlight Kit, which again, beautiful. Look at that. Bam, highlight. Bam, highlight. So just really love it. It's really worth investing in a good highlighter and a good bronzer. Hourglass do amazing highlighters for like, I think it's like 70 bucks, which is ridiculous. Apparently they're really good quality and stuff, but I personally have just found them very glittery and very transparent. Whereas my Urban Decay one and my Mary Lou one, it's like a nice natural glow. Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is a must invest good stuff. Eyeshadow is my favorite, I think, for sure. My absolute favorite thing to buy. I go a bit crazy, kind of want to buy all the palettes ever, 
but I kind of know my limit now. I think I'm good at looking at the palettes being like, mm, there's a lot of colors I don't love. For example, the Too Faced palettes that like smell of chocolate and peach, they look amazing. I've heard good things, but I just think when I look at them, I'm like, there's a lot of colors that I know I would never use. And to me, that's just such a waste of money. There's lots of good eyeshadows out there. To start out, I would recommend Too Faced actually do a really nice um, small palette that's a, a natural matte. I got it for my mum because she was kind of interested in doing little bits of eyeshadow. And it's just a really good start out eyeshadow if you're kind of new to eyeshadow and you don't really know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing or you want a bit of variety of colors, then I would definitely recommend the Naked palette. I've got one and two. I'm considering getting three sometime soon, but we'll see how the money goes. Number one is very kind of goldy pinky and it's got some kind of dark blues down the end there but mainly you got your very light pink some nudes gold and then some darker outer corner colors and as you've seen in many of my videos i'm a huge morphe palette fan i've got three i've got the into the frost which was the classic starter one which i've done videos on so many times and i've done swatch videos but you've got all these colors to choose from. I've got the 350, which is the natural matte and shimmer actually. And they're more kind of like orangey shades and it's very warm. You got your browns and your kind of lighty gold shades. This one's a really good one. I feel like it gives me a lot of variety. It's fun. It's not too out there. And then I've got the 35T, which is the taupe palette, which I think is for sure my favorite. It's got some really lovely pinks and golds in there and a few darker browns to mix it up a bit. These palettes are really cheap. They're just a bit expensive for postage. So if you are considering getting one, I would definitely recommend asking if any of your friends wanna do it and all going into one basket kind of thing because it just, it completely halves the price with the postage. But they're definitely a good investment. You get so many colors. They're really good quality. They last ages. Whereas, you know, you'll spend like $70 on like a Tarte palette with like 10 colors. And also keep in mind that most of these palettes are going to last you forever. You're never going to use that many colors in your life. So it's definitely worth investing in. And really quickly, I'm just going to run you through some like cheap alternatives that Honestly, I just think you can't go wrong with if you don't have the money to go all out with all the high-end stuff. So obviously I've only mentioned foundation, bronzer, highlighter, and eyeshadow. Basically because I think those four are the only four areas that you should try and invest in high-end wise. Because I really don't think there's any cheap alternatives that look as good. Except for foundation, probably. Foundation, I can definitely recommend some cheap alternatives that honestly look pretty damn good. Rimmel, any Rimmel one. This one is just the 25 hour lasting finish, but it's really, really nice on. It stays on quite long. It's just a really nice foundation. I used it for, for years before I went high end and I still sometimes reach for it because it's just a nice foundation. Powder wise, I've always used the Rimmel Stay Matte. I just find it really nice on my skin and it really sets my liquid foundation well whatever foundation i'm using i really like the finish to it it's just a good powder and it's really cheap blushes just think there's so many good cheap drugstore or fuck what do we call it you don't really need to spend that extra money on the high-end blush if you can't afford to because there's so many good ones in just your normal kind of pharmacy shop. Rimmel, Revlon, NYX, Max Factor. They have really cool blushes that I've loved. Never felt the need to buy a high-end one. I would honestly put your money towards eyeshadow or bronzer and highlight rather than a blush. Mascara, I tried the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I did like it. But I still just always go for the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I honestly think you can't beat it. Eyeliner wise, I'm actually going to try and do an eyeliner video soon on flicks and stuff like that because it's a fucking nightmare, I know. But if you're after an, a cheaper eyeliner, the L'Oreal Super Liners are really good. I get, there's like a thin felt tip one and there's a thick felt tip one. I alternate between the two depending on how thick and thin I like them. They've never done me wrong. I just love them. The other one I recently bought was the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing. And this one, it's individual hairs instead of a felt tip, which is really weird, but it is a good, like, 
stays on, looks good eyeliner, but I just can't figure it out. I don't know if I like it. Lips wise, I love NYX. They're like little tubes and they do so many different colors and they're matte. They do such nice ones, for sure go for them. Also Rimmel do the most amazing lipsticks. I used to live off of them and buy like all the colors. MAC do actually do really good lipsticks. So if you did want to go a high-end one, I'd recommend checking them out. And lastly, the only thing I haven't really talked about is eyebrows. So what I use for my eyebrows is a Natio powder thing. And before that, I was actually using a Sephora one that was powder as well. I think you have to work out whether you want to go with like a pen or with powder or with like ink they even do these days. You just have to work out what you like the look of. I personally just put a tiny bit of powder through the existing hairs to just make them look a bit fuller, like fill in the gaps. I don't go hectically. Some people need a pen to like physically draw them on. So just work out what's best for you. And honestly, there's so many cheapy ones that are good that I don't think you need to invest in a high-end eyebrow kit, you know? Okay, I feel like I have talked and talked and talked everyone's ears off. So, sorry about that. I hope this video was helpful if you do want to start out with the high-end makeup. Again, the only things that I would say you definitely need to invest in is a good eyeshadow palette, a good highlighter, and a good bronzer. You can find cheap foundations obviously the good ones are better but you can find cheap ones everything else there's just so many cheaper options that are just as good please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful or if you did enjoy it and please subscribe because i'm so close to hitting my 500 goal for this year i would really appreciate it i make new videos every week so thank you as always for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye I'm